I meet a lot of kids in my day. One of them, you might know her. She's a girl named Beyonce. She was 16 at the time, and now look at her. Congrats, B, on your record number of Grammy wins. Our next guest was also on the show as a child. He had just written his first book at 10 years old. Our next amazing kid is Mark Guillory. I mean, when he was in the third grade, he wondered how he might become as successful as the child stars he watched on television. So he talked to his dad and did a little research online and decided to write a book. And what's this book called and what's it about? The book is called The Mysterious Oak Tree, and it's about two young boys who discover a magical tree in a park. And when they try to show other kids, the tree magically disappears so no one will believe them. Ah, oh, and you wrote this in third grade? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Mark Guillory is now 24 with a mechanical engineering degree from Prairie View A&M. His degree followed the script in his family, but he's decided to turn the page on that career for now and do something different. He's the founder of the clothing brand Desire is Energy. Good morning. Good morning. You grew up on me. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. You know? What did you learn at such an early age about starting something and completing it? Because you didn't just write the book. Mm. You showed up at book signings as well. Uh, I have to give a lot of credit to my mother. You know, she forced me before I even learned what consistency was. She forced me to uh, kind of stick at it and constantly put myself out there, you know, kind of get away from being real shy, being afraid to approach people, speak to them, uh, speak up with authority. So I really give a lot of credit to her and it really helped, I say, boost my confidence from a young age. Yeah, you know? and also looking at not just writing a book, but looking at the business side of it. Oh yeah, so business, it didn't come natural to me uh, at first. I Does was, it come natural to anyone? <laughs> I'm not quite I don't know. sure, yeah, right. Know, I'm at the point, at first I wanted to just get the books away. And then mom was like, okay, sweetheart, you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. as time went by, uh, I slowly started learning uh, kind of like the small ins and outs. And I think it's really helped impact me now uh, with Desire's Energy. I've yeah. been getting out of uh, Prairie and m All right. So you come from a family of engineers. So it yes, was the safe thing, familiar thing to do. But you always have in the back of your mind, I really don't want to do this, but I get it. That's actually it verbatim. Like I did it because uh, my dad was an engineer. My, both my brothers were engineers. So... It was kind of like, okay, if I'm going to go to college, I'm going to go for something that I think is worth a degree. You right. know, I'm not going to get, like I said, I'm not going to get nothing in hand puppets or anything. Yeah, like, 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 like so, Dave Ramsey was saying exactly, earlier. So <laughs> I figured out, you know what, let me major in something that is worth me going there, you know, spending money. Luckily, I was on scholarship, yeah. so it wasn't as big of an issue with the debt. But while I was going through it, I realized very early on that I'm not really passionate about it. Yeah. But then, you that know, was not your desire that lit your fire. Exactly. Okay, your dad Facts. said something to you that you hooked on. It was not getting anywhere, just being an employee. That is, I would say, my parents, they never f pushed me to be anything. But what they did tell me, which helped me realize early on, was that for where I was trying to be, as a kid, I wanted to be a you know, trillionaire. I wanted to have the biggest house in the city, all yeah. these different things. And from a young age, my dad would always instill in me that, if you're really trying to get to that level anywhere close to where you dream, then you can't stay just an employee. Yeah, and so faith without works. Is dead. Or, yeah, Facts. exactly. All right, we're doing some Bible verses here today, and that's going to come into play in here in just a minute. Uh, so pre-pandemic, uh, you know, you're studying mechanical engineering the whole bit, and you graduated, but you had a shift like so many people during the pandemic. You had time to sit still. Like mm -hmm. The world had time to sit still and think about some things. So you graduated, but, you know, many people were, were in the middle of losing jobs. Yep. You you had in your mind that I'm going to create some. Why did you decide to get into the clothing industry, something that we see so much of is so competitive? Yes, so originally I actually was never that very interested in fashion, but during the pandemic, I had time to research. And what I learned was that there's a such thing as called a t-shirt brand or a t-shirt line mm -hmm. where you can just put your message on clothes and people actually wear it and they, basically spread it out through the world like a walking yeah. So billboard. it's not really just, it's not really a t-shirt. Exactly, it's more it, so the message that I'm bringing to the world, desires, yeah. energy, that's what I learned. So I was always into philosophy, you know, yeah. low key, like reading books, listening to podcasts. So once the pandemic did happen and it was nothing else for me to do, I said, you know what, let me go ahead and start using uh, my hobby, I would say, that I do in my spare time and start seeing how I can spread it to the world, yeah. especially during a time of a lot of uh, mental health crisis, a lot yeah. of people going into depression, not knowing what's next. It was know? therapy for you. All right. So I remember Damon John from Shark Tank said, you know, so many people get shut down and stuck when they go, oh, yeah, but somebody else has done this idea. Somebody else has done clothes. Somebody else mm -hmm. has done that. And he says N -n there are very few, if any, brand new ideas exactly. because the difference is what are you putting behind it and what are you hoping to achieve? As you say, you can make money in anything, mm -hmm. uh, even video games. You 
you love video games, guess what? You can, you can, a lot of gamers are making money. Mm -hmm. All right, so with your apparel, give us the message that you want to send. Okay, so desire is energy. We say once you get the desire to achieve, you must get the energy to work towards it. Now with us, uh, we're real big on the faith without works is dead, which we already mentioned. Mm -hmm. A lot of people talk big, a lot of people don't act big. Our brand, our own actual mission, is to inspire a call to action for yeah. everyone who has big goals and desires in life. Talk big, act big, and then do big. Yep, be big. Yeah, yeah be definitely. big, be. 100%. All right, let's take a look at a, a couple of examples of what you have. And again, um, <coughs> what you've done is put your mark on it. Now, this young man right here is 17 years old. He's a one COO. Of the, uh, he's a COO of your company because one of the other things that you do is you love to mentor. Definitely. So um, with our program, we're starting, especially with our podcast, we're purposely taking uh, a lot of the youth and we're interviewing entrepreneurs, artists, musicians, athletes. We're having them tell their full stories and give step-by-step detailed actions that people can take as a blueprint for the public in order to get where they are. Yeah, all right, tell us what's specific about this right here. So this one, this is part of our Black History Collection. Uh, it's one of two different hoodies. So you can see on the sleeve, CJ showing the sleeve, says a black woman made this. This is actually a collab we did with Radical Black Girl. Uh -huh. She's a activist platform. She's an amazing, amazing fashion designer, fashion stylist. She did the sleeve, the print and everything for us. You know, luckily all we had to do was put our logo on it and she allowed us to do the collaboration. And I think so. that she is with us this morning, isn't she? Is, she? All right, Definitely. let's have her come up next. This is Miss Destiny Polk, radical black girl, <laughs> one of the goats, greatest fashion designer that you will ever see. And, and what she's got here is is you have your your like kente cloth. Exactly, uh, and, and you can here. see how beautiful the color pattern is, inspiration for Black History Month itself. Uh, it was a popular one we did last year, so this year we added a lot extra to it. And like I said, this time we put her tagline on the sleeve, so that way people can appreciate the greatness. And also, you know, she put the head wrap on too, so that's the extra drip if y'all need any ideas. Did you say the extra, drip? the extra drip? Oh, the extra drip. Oh, I learned crowd, some you know? new stuff today. That's an extra drip right there. You know, okay, I like that right there. Okay, you also have things like your special edition chocolate love t-shirts for sale. Yes. Uh, great for Valentine's Day. Very popular. And then you have your Juneteenth thing. So things that, that fit a certain day are things you can wear all the time. Exactly, yes ma'am, definitely. Let me wrap up with what is your best advice to <clears throat> another young person out there who feels pressure or feels a need to do what's expected of them versus what they'd love to do. To do what's expected as opposed to what they love to yeah, do. Yeah, because I, I, I can't tell you how many friends I have who are like, yeah, mm -hmm. well, I wanted to go into journalism, but my parents said I have to be a neurosurgeon. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, right. Yeah. I would say this. At the end of the day, you have to love yourself enough to be willing to deal with the consequences of whatever you do. Meaning that whether you go your family's route, your friend's route, the world's route, you have to think to yourself, at the end of the day, I have to live with my own decision. So when I'm 90 years old, I can't blame my parents, I can't blame my children, I can't blame, I'm gonna be unhappy blaming everybody else, yeah. so I'd rather blame myself and die on my own sword and, and own make yourself. my own decision. Well, it was so great to see you again. You see what happens when kids come on great day, they just grow up to be amazing. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, thank you, you so much for joining us today. Say hi to your mom for us. Oh, uh, you can order these things online. It takes about five to seven days for shipping and uh, pop-up shops are across the city as well. To learn more about Desire is Energy, Desire is Energy, visit greatdayhouston.com.